Opportunities and vital resources are lost when traffic grounds to a halt. Stalled vehicles, vehicular collision, injured persons in vehicular accidents. These are examples of road emergencies that affect lives, properties, and productivity in Metro Manila, which is the country's primary urban center. Attending to road emergencies is the primary function of MMDA's Road Emergency Group. The unit is under the supervision of the Traffic Operations Center. The unit's mission is to efficiently clear the thoroughfares of Metro Manila of road obstructions resulting from vehicular accidents and mechanical breakdowns and save lives and limbs of persons involved in road mishaps. The undertakings of the unit are consistent with the effective traffic management and public safety mandates of the MMDA. Operating 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, unit personnel undergo comprehensive training on proper and efficient handling of emergencies, accident victims rescue, and pre-hospital medical care, documentation and accident case analysis, and clearing of the thoroughfare. Special emphasis is given when handling injured persons. One of the most important benchmarks of the Road Emergency Group is its quick response capability and clearing of the scene. The group adopted the 15-minute response and clearing time performance standard in all of its road emergency operations. In order to meet this standard, Road emergency stations were established in strategic locations of the metropolis to enable the group to swiftly respond to emergency calls. Presently, there are five fully operational emergency stations at EDSA Corner Orense Street in Makati, EDSA Corner Ortigas Avenue in Mandaluyong, EDSA Corner Timog Avenue and C5 Libis in Quezon City, and Ramon Magsaysay Nagtahan in Manila. Ten more emergency stations are due for construction in other strategic parts of the metropolis to better serve the public. Institutionalizing quick response to road emergencies demonstrates the government's resolve to be prepared to handle any eventuality. MMDA, working for a Guapong Metro 2023.